I'm Amy the Bunny Lady, and this is my partner Elusive, Ellie for short. High five. Good job. Good job. And today we're going to go over some techniques for, to protect your baseboards from your rabbit's teeth. <laughs> If you're new to our channel, welcome. We give tips and tricks for how to make sure you have a happy and healthy bunny in your home. So if that's the kind of thing that you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscription button and the notification bell next to it so that you never miss any of our weekly videos. We all know that rabbits like to chew on things and oftentimes baseboards are their main target. See, baseboards are right at their teeth level, so they're a great place for rabbits to just go up and start chewing. But of course, we want to protect our baseboards and we do want to try to keep our rabbit from eating the paint and whatnot that is typically on baseboards. So we got to do what we can to try to prevent them from chewing. So these are going to be some tips. You can use all of them, you can use one of them, any combination of them. Just see what works for you and your situation so that you can help prevent your rabbit from actually chewing on the baseboards. And let me know if you have discovered any great tricks for preventing your rabbit from chewing on the baseboards. Because I'm reading about new things every once in a while and I'd love to try out another technique just to see if it works so I can try to get that out a little bit more too. So let me know in the comments below if you have any other suggestions. The first one that I'm going to go over is using fencing around the perimeter of your room to block off the baseboards. So usually what I'll do is get what are those, those storage cube grid things. So they're these squares of grids of fencing that are meant to be formed into cubes for storage. But I find that they're a good size to zip tie together and then put along long stretches of the room to prevent your rabbit from getting at the baseboards. So just lay them against the side of the room. You can get command hooks to get them to stay there so that your rabbit can't just pull them away. Or you could use furniture to kind of pin them to the wall so that your rabbit won't be able to get behind them to continue getting at the baseboard. Sometimes rabbits will continue to poke their nose through the fencing to get at the baseboards, but I find for some reason a lot of the times it just gets them to give up. They just aren't interested in it anymore with this little tiny barrier. And while it might be a little bit annoying to have it around your room all the time, it's not. it doesn't look so ugly. Like a cheap option for doing something like this is to like flatten cardboard boxes and lay them against the wall but of course that doesn't look all that nice. So if you want something that can be a little bit more long-term, I recommend these grids that you can put against the wall. Another thing you can try is a bitter apple spray. Now this one I find tends to only work temporarily, so it works best in rooms where your rabbit doesn't have constant access to. So if your rabbit is normally kept in, say your room, and you have that room fully rabbit proofed but then they're occasionally let out into the living room or the hallway or something like that but they're always supervised in that area then that's where the bitter apple spray can come in because then you don't have to 100 percent like cover all the baseboards as much as possible and rabbit proof the entire hallway the entire living room when your rabbit doesn't have as much time there then you can spray this around whenever your rabbit is in this other room and it should prevent them from temporarily chewing on the baseboards there so bitter apple spray works essentially by making it so that the taste of whatever you sprayed on doesn't taste good to rabbits, so it's a taste deterrent. They'll go to chew on it, not like the taste, and theoretically then stop chewing on it for a while. I do find it only works temporarily, so it's best if you have it in one of those temporary spaces that I was talking about, because your rabbit will try again at some point, and if it doesn't taste bad, then they'll start chewing on them more. So best to use in temporary spaces, but it can still be effective for short periods of time. The next option for you is using masking tape or packing tape along the edge of the baseboards. So what this does is it essentially changes the texture of the wooden baseboard so that your rabbit will go sniff it out and they won't be so interested in it anymore. So they won't chew on it. I was kind of wary of this the first time I read about it, but I figured I'd give it a try and see what happened. And it actually really does work surprisingly well, at least with Ellie. <laughs> so you just put a strip of masking tape down <laughs> and then your rabbit stops chewing. I use masking tape because it's less likely to pull up the paint behind it, especially when I was living in an apartment and I didn't want to pull the paint off of the wall. But packing tape 
theoretically would be even better for the texture because the texture is even more different from wood. So you can try that if that's something that you think would work a little bit better. And I will say with using the tape on the baseboards, if it doesn't work, if your rabbit just continues to go after the baseboards despite the tape being on, then remove the tape because you don't want your rabbit to start chewing on tape all the time. That's not good for their digestion and they really shouldn't be eating it. So unfortunately sometimes this doesn't work and that means that you just have to remove the tape completely to keep your rabbit from eating on it. But it is worth a try. Sometimes, especially in corners of rooms or around doorways, it's a little bit difficult to get one of those DIY fences there or it's just it, something won't fit. In those cases, I will often use cat scratchers. I'll get flexible cat scratcher mats and then poke holes in them so that I can hang them on command strips along the wall and cover up the baseboards that way. This also works if your rabbit likes to kind of dig at the end of the door to try and get out. It can work to prevent them from scratching up the door. Sometimes this means that your rabbit will completely ignore that area now. They just won't be interested in the new texture and they'll ignore it. Sometimes they will continue to dig and chew on the cat scratcher, which is fine because cat scratchers are typically made out of sisal or some kind of natural material that it's okay for the rabbit to chew on. So you can hang these up and if your rabbit does continue to go after them, then you will probably have to replace them occasionally. But that's still better than them chewing on the baseboards all the time. <laughs> And the other thing that you can do is to strategically place your furniture around the perimeter of the room so that your rabbit just cannot even get to the baseboards. Usually this will have to be used in combination with a couple of the other techniques like placing furniture around the room but where that's not possible put fencing around the room. But as much as you can you want to try and block it off so that there's just no way your rabbit can get there. Place your couch right up against the wall so that you rabbit can't even get behind it and other furniture to just completely prevent your rabbit ha from having access. It means you probably won't be able to rearrange your furniture quite as often because there probably won't be as many ways that it can be arranged where you can keep everything against the walls but that's really the best thing that you can do to prevent any baseboard damage for from your rabbit. So definitely worth when you get new furniture also trying to get ones that don't have enough space underneath that your rabbit can crawl under and get to the baseboards that way. Try to get ones that are just flush, flush with the ground rather than ones that have a little bit of a raise because rabbits can fit into surprisingly small spaces. If you need more tips for rabbit proofing other areas of your home, like rabbit proofing the carpets or your wires, things like that, then I do have a rabbit proofing 101 video that you can check out. Go ahead and head over there for all of those tips and tricks to keep your rabbit safe and keep your home from being destroyed. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I do hope that we will see you next week.